I am so excited right now because the airline lost my bags. This is just real talk. This isn't stand-up material. The airlines lost my bags for four days. And yeah, I'm an adult, I have money, I could have solved that problem, could have bought clothes, but I just wore the same clothes for four days. Because I'm an American, I was here in Canada, I don't know my sizes in Celsius, so... <laughs> Plus, I don't know, like, which of your Canadian stores sell, like, the lesbian clothes, do you know what I mean? No, like, I went over to Beaver Tails, but that's not what that is. <laughs> that is such a good and specific joke. <sighs> I really wanted to nail that. That was important to me as an American to come up here and respect your culture, and I think I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am an American, and um, I just want to say, and this is kind of a risk, like, saying this to you, it's kind of a risk being open about this because like, I'm sure I know how you feel right now, but like for me, this is just me, like I feel like every day of the current administration in my country is a living nightmare. <laughs> this is just me, yeah. This is just me. It's just me, it's just how I feel. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I had to like narrow it down, what I don't like is like, I don't like that he's bad at everything. You know what I mean? If I had to like pick one thing, it would be everything. Like, I just don't like that he has no skills. <laughs> when he was running, there were a lot of people that said, um, why don't we put a business person in the White House? Do you remember that? Do you remember hearing that? I know you do, because you watch our primaries here. <laughs> we don't watch any of your shit. Um, <laughs> it's true, I was in Canada during the primary debates and you were doing coverage and commentary on the primary, anyway. Um, Look, I get it, everything's perfect up here. Your money's plasticized. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, I'm not an omniscient god, despite how you may worship me. I don't know everything that's good in the world. I don't think we should put a business person in the White House. I think it should be a politician. But if we ever try this experiment again in the future, could we use somebody who's actually good at business? That'd be nice. Instead of somebody who literally bankrupts casinos, which is impossible. How did he do it? You can't! A casino is a vacuum for money. How did he do it? He just forgot to plug the hose in, the cash was shooting out the back. How? He's a supervillain. He lives in a tower. Who lives in a tower? Every word out of his mouth is something I would punish a child for saying. <laughs> wow, Canada, I'm your hero. <laughs> um, that is my time. I am so glad that I had this outfit to wear for you tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Cameron Esposito. Please enjoy the rest of your night.